the police in the days leading up to the shooting of the 34 miners by police has become the focus of Mpembe's testimony. He questioned why the miners were crouched on the floor, clicking their weapons and singing inflammatory songs, and says such actions led to police firing tear gas into the crowd. It is a plan I approved, and if the attendance thereof, it could have been ordered by those that we were at operation. Between the 12th and 14th of August last year, two police officers and two security guards were hacked to death by angry miners. Police have argued that they felt threatened by the miners who refused to disarm when police asked them to do so. Lawyers for the miners remain adamant that police shot tear gas into the crowd who were protesting peacefully that week and further argue that the miners were not aggressive towards the police until provoked. Surely these people were at least 100 to 200 meters from the um, informal settlement when the trouble started. When the tear gas was thrown, they were still on the felt. The inquiry continues on Thursday. Nozin Dombimia, SABC News, Centurion. The independent election.